Hey, this is Justin, a.k.a. Diego. Back again, talking about some Ice Crown content stuff and some Paladin stuff. And I want to show you guys uh, my level 80s I got. Uh, is my main, my Paladin, obviously. Um, who I play the most, who's got the most gear. And who just fucking pwns people and just fucking shits on people's face. And I got a uh, 80 DK too. Uh, he's full tier 9. Uh, I have him, his DPS set's better than his tank set, but, I mean, uh, I tank on him when needed, but I don't know if I really like it compared to Paladin tanking. My Druid, who I just recently leveled, um, at, uh, four piece already, tier eight on him, and then my Mage, just almost feel full furious, you can see there, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, I got a tier token out of the 25 man, so I picked up the 264 shoulders. Um, not the uh, 251, I believe, were the first one. So pretty excited about that. That was one of the biggest upgrades uh, out of all the, the the tier tokens I could replace. Um, got the chest off a of heroic, a new 25 too. So I'm pretty stoked about that. The shield out of 10 man and my honored ring. So uh, farmed up some rep and got the honored ring. And then these legs dropped for me today, which I thought were really good. Um, I got a lot of hit on them which I was lacking in, in my main tank gear and uh, obviously they're stacked with stamina and three sockets thank you so uh... this is you guys uh... my main spec uh... i did two prot spec my main spec obviously i didn't change um... from my last video so i got the three points in divinity i might play some somewhere else but i just haven't gotten around to it yet here's my trash spec um... you see i picked up seal of command which is fucking overpowered for Ice Crown, um, it's just a lot of snap fet, and it's really good on you know multiple mobs, three, four, five mobs. It's really, really good. And uh, I also maxed out Reckoning, which is really strong because you know you're gonna have a lot of mobs beating on you, so uh, it's you know really high up time. And I use Mongoose on my main hand, so when that procs, you know I got extra fast swings plus double swings from Reckoning, so it's really good on uh, on trash. Really good trash back, I recommend. Because in this uh, spec, I'm not really concerned about uh, the damage I take personally. Because um, I got cooldowns and stuff if things get hairy. But I'm more worried about just keeping everything on me. So, uh, Seal of Command is really strong. I'd really recommend picking it up. Uh, even if you're uh, in your only main tank spec, if you don't have an off spec. Um, and you want to keep like maybe your ret spec or holy spec. But, yeah, so let's get into some uh, Ice, Crown Cro Ice Crown content. But, yeah, sorry I don't have any, like... Uh videos of me doing ice crown stuff but I'll try to get some um, some videos hopefully the lag settles up um, settles down <laughs> and uh, I'm able to record some of our kills and stuff uh, we've obviously gotten all four bosses down in both 10 and 25 man um, I would say the hardest boss fight would probably be for our guild it's Lady Death Whisperer um, I think that's going to give us probably, uh, on Heroic, it's going to give us the most trouble. Um, the fourth boss fight, which Lord Merit, no, that's the first guy. I forget what the last guy's name is, um, that has, like, the blood ads or whatever the fuck they are. Um, he's not too hard if you know what to do, and if you have a competent raid who, um, uh, know or, and doing their assignments with the ads. That's not too hard, really. It's kind of your. I think it's the first DPS check, really. It's a, it's uh, if you have bad DPS, the fight's gonna go on. He's gonna start doing his mark on people, and people are gonna start taking a shitload of damage, and he's gonna people are gonna start dying. He's gonna start healing too much, and then it's just kind of you know, it's a soft and rage kind of type thing. That little mark of the ch fallen champion, I think it's called. But uh, but it's fun. If you guys have any questions about the content, uh, if you want to see it you want uh, pointers and tips yeah but if you guys have any more questions about um, gear um, and you know boss mechanics if you're struggling with something let me know if they're there like if you're deciding between like what piece of tier 10 you should get or if you should get the off spec stuff what I would highly recommend is if you guys didn't know this is they took away 20% of all tanks avoidance um, via dodge so uh, all tanks have 20% less dodge. Actually, everyone. It's an aura. So everyone that steps in there has 20% less dodge, obviously affecting the tanks most. Um, there, all the offset pieces have a lot of... There are a lot of pieces with armor on them. I think there's a chest, there's a wrist, uh, there's a back, there's some other stuff. 
um, has really high ar armor on it. And that's because obviously that's going to be a really high form of mitigation for tanks now. So um, if you're deciding between whether you go for the tier 10 or that stuff, um, go for the tier 10 first in my opinion. I'm going to get that stuff when Heroic comes out because um, I, did, I looked at our parses, our WWS stats, and um, the first boss and the fourth boss, that are, um, there's only four bosses out as of now, and the first and the fourth boss, uh, from what I saw, only do physical damage to tanks. So in Heroic mode, I'm probably going to wear all armor um, on those fights. Um, the first boss, obviously, if you're an off tank, uh, he, you just eat cleaves. And if you're the main tank, it's melee and cleaves. So those are only, and then if you stand in the, the blue fire, obviously that's the only magical damage you should you you should take if you're standing in blue fire. If you if you are, don't stand in blue fire. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the um, the armor stuff for the heroic content. Um, and save my badges and get the tier gear for now. Uh, and wear the tier gear on all the bosses. You want to wear the tier gear. You want to like have um, stamina gear for fights that have at least if they have 20% magical damage to tanks or more you want to wear you know stam gear, EH gear, you know uh, soap gear if you will um, as you know stack on as much stam as possible if it's majority physical damage stack on as much armor as possible all those uh, ice crown armor bonus items are gonna be good so um, thanks for watching guys um, hope you guys learned something. Again, ask me questions. Uh, I'll always answer your questions. I don't really get too many of them. So, but uh, if you like the video, rate it, comment. If you don't, fucking troll me, if you will. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.